Hello world, welcome to Netmodern Tech Academy. Today we are going to draw a simple right angle triangle with Python turtle by using the uh, Pythagoras theorem and calculating the angle. Let's first uh, see how to draw this triangle in an easier way without using any theorem. So this is the triangle we're going to draw uh, with the sides B, A and C. So let's import turtle. Let's make a turtle. And uh, we have the side A and side B, let's say. So to draw this triangle, let's say I begin from this point. I have to go forward B. And then I'm going to come back, turn 90 degrees, go up and then go to this position. That's the path I'm going to do. So let me first go forward B. I want to come back. So I will come back. B. So now if I run it. I'm just going to go forward and come back. Good. Now I need to turn 90 degrees. Turning left 90, and then I'm going to go forward A. So that way we have drawn the sides A and B. Now all that is pending is finishing our triangle by completing the third side. Let's make that side a little smaller so it fits. OK, good. Now all I have to do is from here we have to go to this spot. It will be handy to remember that spot. So I'm going to remember it by. Recording the position in the variable and I'm just going to go to that position. And that should complete the triangle for us. And if we have to make this a function, we can call this right angle. Triangle, and then I accept A, B, and the turtle. And I can simply make this a function. So whenever I need a right angle triangle, all I have to do is call it pass my A and B. Perfect, good. That was an easy way. But what if I had to calculate the angle and actually draw the line? without using go to. So here is a helper uh, diagram. This is from omnicalculator.com. So here is our triangle. So we already know how to draw B and A. Now all we have to do is calculate this angle beta so we can turn accordingly and move forward C. So that's what we are going to try now. So we are going to uh, calculate the third side C and we can do that by using the Pythagoras theorem. And C value will be square root of A square plus B square. So let's do that. So I need the map library for that. So let's do mat dot square root a square plus b square. So now we have our side c, the length of our side c, which is this one. Now all we have to do is calculate the beta angle, and the formula for that is inverse sine of b by c. And luckily, inverse sine is also a function that's available in our math library. So let's call the inverse sine and according to our uh, formula here, it is b by c. And if you notice, the a sign or the inverse sign function returns the values in radians, but we don't want the angle in radians. We want them in degrees. So 
Let's convert the radians to degrees by using another function, math dot degrees. So after drawing line B and A, we are pointing up. So we have to turn all the way down to go to this spot. And we know this angle is beta, so our turn angle will be 180 minus beta. So let's do that. So let's go forward B. Let's come back B, just like how we did before. Let's turn left 90. And let's go forward A. So if I comment this out at this point, we have drawn the two lines that we need, this one and this one. Now all we have to do is turn and go forward. And we have already determined the angle to turn will be 180 minus beta. And all we have to do is go forward C. So that way we would have completed the triangle and now if we want to calculate the other angle as well which is alpha the value will be inverse sine of a by c so we can calculate alpha by math dot degrees math dot inverse sine of a by c and we can print alpha and beta. So that way now we know all the angles of the right angle triangle. Perfect, that's all uh, we wanted to learn today. Now, um, as an extension to this, it might be interesting to try and center this triangle. Or other option could be to draw this triangle with a right angle on the right hand side instead of the left hand side. Those are some small extensions that you can try to practice what you have learned. Thank you, world. Talk to you again in the next video. Bye.